I developed my idea of what Russians are like when I was young, probably five, six years old, maybe younger, when I watched Rocky. And all I remember from that film was that there was the main character, Rocky, and he had to fight this invincible looking man who was Russian. And I think like the first time they fought that he nearly killed Rocky or whatever. And I just know that Rocky went through some sort of transformation or training. And then in the end, he got in the ring again with this monstrous looking guy. Actually, he was handsome. But he got in the ring with this huge guy, this huge boxer. And in the last moment, he wins the, the fight. I hope that's how the story goes. <laughs> um, and, you know, we usually have this question, at least I have this question. If we give our lives to Christ, why is it that we still struggle with sin? Why is it that even if I say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take my heart, let it be yours, take over, you know, you do that prayer. I open my eyes and I still have the same struggles. I still have the same sin. I still have the same temptations. I'm like, you know, what's the difference? What's, what's the point? You know, living this life and fighting against sin is like being in a boxing ring. Before you come to Christ, you're in this boxing ring with this huge Russian-looking temptation. No offense to Russians. I'm talking about Dolph Lundgren in the film. Um, you're in the ring with this huge temptation that is just beating up on you. And you have no gloves. You have no trainer. You have no one literally in your corner. And the entire audience is not on your side. They are against you. That's before you come to Christ. After you come to Christ, what happens? Jesus comes and whisks you away out of the ring. No, that's not what happens. What actually happens is that that, that temptation or that sin is still there. Or well, that temptation is still there or sin, however you want to put it. But the difference this time is that you have boxing gloves on. But better than that, you have Jesus Christ in your corner. Better than that, he's training you. And better than that, he's in the ring fighting for you. That's the difference. And you still have the choice to either continue fighting on your own or you can ask Jesus to fight the temptation or to fight the sin for you. That's the difference between when we come to Christ and before Christ and when it comes to temptations. So as long as we're here on earth, and mind you, you can have victory over the sin through Jesus fighting for you, but that doesn't mean that the game is over. Because you know what's going to happen? Something else is going to hop in the ring. Some trial, some trouble, some issue, something else is going to hop in the ring. Coming! I'm going to church. Something else is going to hop in the ring that's even bigger. And 1 Corinthians 15, 34 says, Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. So even though you're struggling with sin and temptation, you have victory through Jesus Christ. He's in the ring.